Okay, hi everyone, I'm back and uh, I cleaned everything up as you can see and we're going to do a little plastic bag pour on small 15 by 15 little canvas and then I'm going to move on to a 30 by 30 big canvas and then uh, maybe a 40 by 40 but we'll see what happens. So first off, this is the uh, updated sponsor list and this is the end of June 2018. So everything that comes in after this uh, this one, they will all go to July of 2018. Now I want to thank everyone for their um, sponsorship of my channel. I really uh, hugely appreciate it. So the thing is here that I have only four colors and there's no silicone in it. So we have white and it's on the thin side then we have um, a, a really dark blue and there's a couple of uh, colors in here to get the right consistency then I have a phthalo green and blue and a little bit of mixing white and then I have something that I almost don't use and this is a metallic copper color so that's what I'm gonna put on this little one um, what I do want to do is uh, put this on the table because I want to be able to clean it up quickly and maybe get some, uh, some drip off on this paper here so that I can keep it as a skin. Now skins are just, you know, acrylic paint that is dried on a surface that you can peel it off. So that's all that really is. But sometimes you get some really amazing results and then you're, you know, you're disappointed that you didn't put it on anything that you can lift it up. So that's why I'm doing it right now like this. So um, I'm going to put the paint in the little plastic bag, as you can see. And we're going to start off with a lot of white. And like I said, guys, there's no silicone in any of these colors. A little bit of turquoise and of course the beautiful copper color, the copper metallic. Now that's more than enough for this little canvas that we have here. Now in the previous video I also uh, showed you how I put the pressure on and I stuck uh, uh, the scissors in but you really need one of these little tips that really helps. So here we go. Whoops. Now let's see what happens. Pouring it all over the sides. And as you can see, a lot of that copper is nicely at the top. The only problem I see, I have a little goober right there smack in the middle. So I gotta get me a little tweezer to get that out. And of course it was laying on the ground. There it goes. Now you can already see that there is some selling all by itself. That's kind of uh, interesting. And we're gonna put that across here making sure not to move that paint too much because then it's going to go muddy on us and we don't want that. So I'm helping it over. There it goes. See that? That is pretty. And a tiny bit on the corner here and we're ready. Now I'm going to see what I can do with that. And I want to make sure that my canvas doesn't get soaked in paint. And what I'm doing is a little bit dangerous because of um, that I'm very close to where I'm smearing with the other paint. I should have just left it for a time lapse because it's turning into really something really pretty. Now, let me get my cloth. And as you can see that I have uh, the paint on the uh, on the table, I will show you that it does nothing with uh, with the torch. Now 
as you can see, it does absolutely nothing because there is no silicone in there. The only thing that what happens is the little air bubbles pop, so they release the color that's underneath. And if I were to uh, tilt this, it, you would have the illusion of, uh, of cells. Now, here is the one we just did. And as you can see, there is a lot of things going on and a lot of um, cell-like patterns because of the uh, densities of the paint. And as you saw me pour it, you saw a lot of that uh, copper color and it has all gone to the bottom. And I really don't like that because I, I would really like some, you know, at the top. There's a tiny bit here little bit up here but I'm pretty sure before this um, whole painting has set that it'll be gone and that is something that uh, maybe some of those manuf manufacturers could do something about make something with metallic that sort of floats to the top something like that because right now it's almost all gone so um, I'm gonna put a little over here and you will see it disappear slowly. Although this is beautiful what I have going on here on the uh, paper. And I would really like to swipe that copper and see if I can then keep it. Let's see. See, that's how I was thinking it would react. Look at it, just it's just selling up all by itself. See that? Now that is pretty. I have to get get some room because I'm gonna keep this. So let's put this on the table. And that is beautiful. I love how that looks. Now I'm gonna try and do one over here. There it is. And the cells are just popping up all by itself, but over here you can already see they're almost gone. So that is um, that is sort of what that copper does. And I really, um, I really wish it wouldn't do that because there's so many beautiful things happening and all of a sudden here you can almost not see it anymore. I'm going to come in here, a little bit more down there, make it just a little bit bigger. There it is. Let's see what happens to it. Well, I guess we can always let it dry and see what happens to uh, to this. So um, this is about it. This is about the end of it. I won't do anything more to it because as you can see, um, the thing that I am uh, experiencing is if you do uh, have the silicone in it, those cells are just that much. They have a little bit more power. They can, you know, even when you're tilting, they will keep their cells. but. Um, the cells that pop up because of the paint density now there's a different story because as soon as you start tilting this it'll be gone and it won't stay that way so the important thing is if you want to do anything with density you have to uh, make sure that where you're doing it you can leave it on the table you don't touch it you don't move it until it's dry because that will disrupt all the cells that have being created all by themselves. Now guys, we've been having some uh, uh, unbelievable weather here in Holland. Right now it is 25 Celsius here in the studio and that's pretty crazy. Um, we are going to have an, a, a real, really hot heat wave thing going on next week. Uh, and I have the day off tomorrow so there will be at least one more video tomorrow. Um, also, I'm going to go to a medium. That is kind of fun. So we had this um, 
we do that like a couple of times a year at work. We do some sort of a thing like uh, this time it was um, food food festival, and it was sort of like in a pizza themed thing where we had um, people that read your hand and there was a medium and there was a lot of music and it was a lot of fun. But the thing is that the the medium that was there, she was pretty good. I heard a lot of stories. And um, so I made an appointment to go see her tomorrow, you know, just one on one. Um, sitting there at work, I don't, I don't think I would ever do that because I, I respect uh, mediums. They um, a lot of people say hogwash or they don't believe it, but I believe um, I believe them. If You know, not all of them, of course, but there are really good ones out there. And uh, going by the things I heard that she's pretty good. So I'm going to go over there. Tomorrow, 2 o'clock, I have an appointment, and uh, I'll tell you all about it. So um, if I do post the video tomorrow, it will be way after 3 in the afternoon, for my, my time, that is, so that I can tell you about stuff that she told me. And I will get right back to you guys about that, okay? So this is the last one for today. I'm going to keep the 30 by 30 uh, for tomorrow because I am going to be adding uh, silicone even though this was really pretty in the beginning uh, where you could see me pull the, all those beautiful uh, metallic uh, copper things over it it's all gone and um, I don't want to do that again on a um, on a canvas the little one is okay it's something different so I don't mind that but look at this see that how it, how it's running it's really really thin and although I do like it, I do like what it's doing. Um, I think another canvas with this on it won't be well, really that interesting. See, I like all those swoopy things going on. I love that. If you look really closely, it's really pretty. And with the paper, you can make like little, little things like that go on. That's kind of cool. See how now it goes jaggedy a little bit that's nice okay guys <laughs> sorry <laughs> that when I see paint move I get all into it you know it's it's really for me it's really calming it's sort of zen like seeing it just move and do its thing okay I'll see you all, uh, all back tomorrow after I've been to the medium and I'll tell you all about it okay guys Love you all to pieces. Liebe euch alle. Hoffe ihr alle wahl. See you.